My name is Josh, I'm a rock climber and I am the president of the Rock Climbing Club at UTC. I started rock climbing, it was through my learning and living community. It was called WILD, it stood for Wilderness Instructor Leadership, and something I don't remember, but they took us for a climb night one night to climb, to try out bouldering and rock climbing, and I fell in love with it ever since that day. Most people um, prefer outdoor climbing to indoor climbing because it's like natural and stuff. And, um, and that's great, but I've always been more of an indoor climber, which gets a lot of scoffs from the climbing community. I say the hardest thing for people starting out rock climbing is being intimidated by how difficult things are or how much stronger other people are, which um, I remember being that, um, that type of person who was intimidated for a while about it and, um, and seeing the other people so much better than me. but. It turns out the uh, climbing community is very inviting and very um, open to helping out new people and getting them into the sport. So, some people will work out on the side. I typically just climb and just keep going at that. I don't usually lift weights or anything. I just climb to work out. I always saw it as kind of a fun alternate to working out because I've never been like a lifting weights type of guy, and then more of a kind of make it an adventure type. I say any physical sport that challenges you in a physical way is important for mental health and um, dealing with the stresses of everyday life. Um, I know my mental health would severely decline if it wasn't for like these activities that help me take my mind off of things like that. There's no better feeling than achieving your problem or route after climbing the same thing and messing up after a month or a couple weeks or so. And when you finally get it, there's no better feeling than holding on to the finish and letting go and knowing that it's over, you, you just completed your goal.